Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain another example on finding eigenvalues and eigenvectors. This is the given matrix. We are going to find out the eigenvalues and corresponding eigenvectors of this matrix C. If you are watching my channel first time, please subscribe my channel to get the updates from me. Okay. So, first of all, write the given matrix. So, it would be 3, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 5, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 3. So, first of all, we have to find out the characteristic equation to get the eigenvalues. Okay, what is the formula for characteristic equation? We know that. The characteristic equation of capital A is determinant of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. So, determinant of what is A minus lambda i? Just subtract the diagonal elements with lambda. Remaining are all same. So, 3 minus lambda minus 1, 1. Minus 1, 5 minus lambda minus 1. 1 minus 1, 3 minus lambda is equal to 0. Okay, this is the formula for characteristic equation. If you simplify value of this determinant, you will get an equation. You will get an equation in terms of lambda. The roots of that equation are known as eigenvalues. See. So, what is the trick to evaluate this, this type of determinant? There is a shortcut it. Okay. Don't use ordinary method to find debt value here. Okay. It takes a lot of time. So, lambda cube minus S1 into lambda square plus S2 into lambda. Alternately, you will get positive, negative, positive and finally, you have negative sign is equal to 0. So, we have to find out S1, S2, S3 in advance. So, from the given matrix only, we can find out the S1, S2, S3, C. First of all, we have to find out S1. What is S1? Trace of here. Trace of the given matrix. What is trace? Sum of diagonals. Sum of diagonal elements in the given matrix. So, it would be 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 5, 11. This is S1. What is S2? Sum of cofactors of diagonals sum of cofactors of diagonals in a there are three diagonals in a each diagonal has a cofactor we have to write the cofactors and we have to add them so what is the cofactor of first diagonal for the first diagonal cofactor you can close first row and first column you will get a 2 by 2 matrix its debt is called cofactor of first diagonal so, determinant of 5, minus 1, minus 1, 3. What is the cofactor of second diagonal element? Close the second row and the second column. So, 3, 1, 1, 3. Determinant of that matrix is called cofactor. Plus, cofactor of the last diagonal. Close the first uh, last row and last column. 3, minus 1, minus 5. Sorry, plus 5. So, 5 3 is 15 minus 1 plus 3 3 is 9. 9 minus 1 plus 3 5 is 15. 15 minus 1. Okay. So, 15 minus 1, 14. 8, 14. So, 14 plus 14, 28. 28 plus 8, 36. And third one. What is S3? S3 is nothing but determinant of A. You can find out the debt manually. Otherwise, you can use the scientific calculator as you wish. Already, I taught you how to find out debt A by using scientific calculator in earlier videos. Please see them. Okay. Here, I am finding manually here. So, 3 into 5, 3 is a 15 minus 1. It would be 14 minus 
second element it would be plus 1 into minus 3 plus 1 it would be minus 2 plus last element is 1 1 into 1 minus 5 it would be minus 4 so 3 14s are 42 minus 2 minus 4 however it is 42 minus 2 40 40 minus 4 36 so replace these all values in this equation so lambda cube minus what is s1 11 what is s2 36 what is s3 36 so this is called characteristic equation this is called characteristic equation of given matrix A. The roots of this equation, the roots of above characteristic equation are called eigenvalues. Called eigenvalues. So you can find out the roots of this cubic equation using scientific calculator. You can also use the Carnot Hans method, but it takes time to uh, to complete the problem as early as possible. I'm using calculator. So in more, take it equation number five, which is equation more. Our equation is a cubic equation. That's why I'm taking fourth one. So what is a coefficient of h degree term one is equal to coefficient of lambda square is nothing but b so which is minus 11 next 36 is equal to minus 36 which is the constant okay for every entry you should operate is equal to symbol otherwise you didn't get the next element is equal to so first root is 6 x1 is equal to next one is 3 next one is 2 so 6 3 2 are the are the eigenvalues these are the eigenvalues of the matrix A and don't forget one one important thing after getting eigenvalues in your examination you have to check that whether these eigenvalues are right or wrong there is a property regarding this which is sum of eigenvalues nothing but addition addition of eigenvalues is trace of a if you find out addition 9 plus 2 11 surely it is trace no doubt at all you can check it if you do not get 11 of the sum of these eigenvalues your problem will be wrong so you can check it where where did you do the mistake okay and also one more important thing is product of these eigenvalues should be debt A. 6 3 is 18, 18 2 is 36. We are observing that debt A is 36. Okay. So now for every eigenvalue there exists a eigenvector. We are going to find out that three eigenvectors in three cases. C. Uh, see the first case to find the eigenvectors. I am taking first eigenvalue which is 6 then already you know that the corresponding eigenvector eigenvector is nothing but non-zero solution of the homogeneous system a minus lambda i of x is equal to o so replace lambda is equal to 6 in this system so you will get u a minus 6 i of x is equal to o what is a minus 6 i here you should replace whenever we have lambda replace it by x 6 okay so 3 minus 6 it would be minus 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 5 minus 6 minus 1 and the last one is same minus 1 1 minus 1 3 minus 6 is minus 3 so what is x variable matrix in general we will take x y z this system represents three equations this system represents three equations by solving any two equations you will get the required eigenvector don't forget it so x y z in general i am solving first two equations always so x y z 
write the y coefficients minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 and write again first column minus 1 minus 1 so x by minus into minus plus 1 plus 1 y by minus 1 minus 3 z by 3 minus 1 so x by 2 y by minus 4 z by 2 so clearly each and every element is divisible by 2 so gets cancelled 2 so let us let us cancel the 2 it's enough so what is x1 1, 1 minus 2 1 is the eigenvector of a when lambda is equal to 6 okay now see the case 2 what is the another eigenvector sorry another eigenvalue 3 I am taking 3 then consider the system a minus lambda i of x is equal to o so replace lambda is equal to 3 so in this diagonal elements whenever we have lambda replace it replace them by 3 so 3 minus 3 3 minus 3 i got 0 minus 1 1 minus 1 5 minus 3 it would be 2 minus 1 1 minus 1 3 minus 3 is 0 x y z o means columnar matrix you can solve any two equations i will solve the first two equations only x y z so x y z write the y coefficients first minus 1 2 z is 1 minus 1 x r 0 minus 1 minus 1 2 x by minus into minus plus 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 is nothing but minus 1 y by 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus 0 it would be minus 1 and z by 0 minus 1 minus 1 so all are negative cancel the negative sign so x2 is equal to all our ones 1 1 1 is the eigenvector of a corresponding to eigenvalue 3 now it is enough to find out the another eigenvalue another eigenvector corresponding to the last eigenvalue to c see the case 3 so i am taking the last eigenvalue which is 2 so consider the system a minus lambda of x is equal to o we should replace lambda is equal to 2 so that's why i am getting a minus 2 i of x is equal to o so what is a minus 2 i in the characteristic matrix whenever we have lambda replace it by 2 so 3 minus 2 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 5 minus 2 is the 3 minus 1 1 minus 1 3 minus 2 is 1 in this way we should get the a minus 2i and uh, you can solve any two equations i am solving first two equations by solving first two equations i got minus 1 0 1 as the eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value lambda is equal to 2 thank you very much in the next video i will give some more examples on eigen values and eigen vectors and Cali hamilton theorem also thank you very much